Every day, whether you're operating machinery, managing equipment, working with tools, working as part of a team, or supervising others, you're making decisions and taking actions that affect the quality of your work, safety, and efficiency. But have you ever wondered why some tasks are easy to perform while others are more challenging? Or why some equipment feels right in your hands while other tools slow you down? This is where human factors come in. Human factors is an applied practical discipline that combines ergonomics, psychology, and physiology. We use human factors to understand how people interact with the work environment, including equipment and systems to make work easier, safer, and more efficient. While human factors improve the usability of equipment and software, comfort and well-being, in safety-critical industries, the focus is typically on optimizing the workplace setup to reduce the possibility of human error and to enhance health and safety. Unfortunately, it is still common for organizations to try and reduce errors by focusing on changing worker behaviors directly through rules and procedures. While rules and procedures are important, Organizations must also consider the more influential human factors, which typically have a stronger influence on managing errors and their consequences. Human factors considers three main areas, the worker, the task, and the environment. The worker. Every worker is different, different strengths, skills, and limitations. Human factors recognize these differences to make tasks suitable. The task. Is it too complex, too repetitive? Are tools and equipment easy to use? Human factors look at simplifying tasks to reduce errors and fatigue. The work environment, lighting, noise, temperature, level of supervision and organizational culture, all these things affect how well you can do your job. Human factors ensure your workspace is comfortable and safe and that you have the support you need from your organization. Human factors involves understanding which tasks people need to perform, how these tasks are done, what sorts of errors can happen, what the consequences would be, and what factors create the conditions that make those errors more likely. We then make improvements to the design or system to reduce the likelihood or consequences of error. Human factors is most effective when applied early in a project by understanding how people are expected to interact with new equipment or systems, accounting for their capabilities, task complexity, and the expected work environment, we can anticipate problems and change the design for the better. This can prevent costly redesigns later and even prevent major incidents. However, many systems already in place have not been developed with human factors involvement. These tasks contain circumstances that make errors more likely. For example, unlabeled but similar looking equipment, a complex task with no or poorly written procedures, needing to work in an uncomfortable position, operating confusing controls, being fatigued while carrying out tasks that require a high state of alertness, such as driving, where an error in a task can cause or contribute to a major incident, such as a leak, fire, or explosion, we call this a safety critical task. In some parts of the world, Companies are required by law to identify their safety-critical tasks and to manage human factors using a technique called task analysis. We do this by not only reducing the likelihood of errors, but also making our systems more error tolerant. In other words, when an error does occur, we build slack into the system that allows errors to be recognized and recovered before anything bad happens. Human factors is also a major part of accident investigations. Accidents are the result of many causes, including organizational weaknesses and technical failures of equipment, with human error often just being the last or most visible contributor. But by understanding the circumstances in which errors occur, how the worker, the task, and the environment interacted, we can identify deep learnings in how the organization manages its operations. This allows us to make improvements not just to how one task is performed and managed, but how all tasks are performed and managed. In conclusion, human factors is an important tool for ensuring safe operations. We feel its effects, for example, on the design of equipment, tasks and work environments, shift patterns that minimize the impact of fatigue and the outcomes of incident investigations. What impact do you think human factors has had on your work? Consider the following questions. 
Are you aware of any projects where human factors made a positive impact? What impact did it have? Conversely, are you aware of projects that didn't have human factors involvement but would have benefited if they did? What issues have you encountered where you think human factors may be able to help? What role can you play in ensuring human factors are considered within your organization? Thanks for watching.